So the Procreate Gallery is where everything begins. This is where you create your projects with a plus sign. This is where you name your projects. And this is where you edit the names of those projects. So for example, here's a project, the Epstein House. And by tapping on the title, it brings up the title and I'm free to do whatever I'd like to do edit that or rename it. Press the keyboard retraction sign and I'm on to the next thing. You'll see a difference in here between what Procreate calls a stack, which is a series of drawings inside a single folder, in this case one called Seattle 7 Views, versus a single image. And if I tap on that image, up comes that single image, but nothing more. Before that loads, this blue line indicates that it's loading all the layers. And you'll see that this project has quite a few layers, almost 60 to it, but we'll be getting into that later. So let's go back to the gallery. If you've done all your work and you come back to the gallery and you realize that three or four drawings that are related have not been assembled in a stack, all you're going to do is tap and hold, drag one over the top of another until it turns blue, and then those two drawings will become a stack. So if I tap on this stack now, there I see the two Epstein House drawings. If I return here, I can tap the word stack and edit that or rename it the same way we've talked about before. I'll try something a little more challenging. Here are a series of projects or a series of drawings, one, two, three, four, which all really belong in the same place. A project called Yokohama. So I will tap and hold and drag that. It turns blue. It appears as a stack. The third or more drawing that you add, you have to hold it until the stack opens up. So here we're going to finish that. This is the last drawing in the Yokohama stack. So I release it, and now we have our stack. I go back to the main gallery. I find that stack, I tap it, and I add the project name. If you make a mistake and find out that you put too many or the wrong drawing in a stack, you simply go in, find the drawing, tap and hold, and then move it back over the top of the stack name until you see Procreate pop back up. Then you release it, and it goes to the head of the Procreate stack. So let's do that again. Here's the single file. I want to return it to its Yokohama stack. I press and hold. I wait for Yokohama to open up, and I release. But now I realize I've made that mistake again. I tap and hold. Come back up until Yokohama turns to the name Procreate, and I release, and there it is back in the uh, general file. Of course, once you get a number of drawings in your gallery, and you can see that I have um, probably close to 100 by now. Let's say I've got a, an old project up here that I want to move. All I have to do is, if I hold it and wiggle it, uh, the gallery starts moving, and I can deposit that project in a new location so I can keep my gallery organized that way. The other tabs in the gallery include the Select tab, which allows you to uh, select stacks of drawings or individual drawings. To select this stack, I tap the image itself, and I've got the Epstein House stack. And to select this single drawing, I select that. That gives me the opportunity to share them, uh, send them to a client, or. Uh, send them as a different kind of a file type, or duplicate, or delete. So if I X out of that, the gallery also offers an import tab. You're going to see later that we constantly use iCloud Drive. I tend to create a folder for any project, and uh, the Epstein House was also called Greg2. So you can see in here some of the individual components that showed up in that uh, Epstein House drawing, and, and we'll talk later about how to import these things. A very similar function occurs when you go to the Photos function and you can select any of your photos uh, to begin a Procreate drawing based on a photo. Last thing about the gallery is it is the jumping off point for all your new projects. That's what the plus sign is for. To add a new project I simply pull up the canvas menu and I choose the different menu size and we'll talk about these later. But in this case, I'm going to use the YouTube menu. And you see it comes up uh, already proportioned, uh, 16 by 9 proportion for YouTube. And it's ready to go. And I just tap on the brushes. 
and get a brush I like. Using the color red, I can come in here and write the name of the project. And that's it for the gallery.